First on Fox, the youth coach who police say was shot by an angry parent speaks from his hospital bed. He spoke only to Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes. The 30 year old coach known by his nine and 10 year old players as Shaq spoke via FaceTime. Still kind of brings me to tears because it's like I just didn't I didn't know I had this much support just doing something that small, you know, just coaching kids. No, um, just trying to get them on the right direction. Shaquille Lattimore just finished walking for the first time since he was shot Tuesday night. I think we take for granted the little things. Lattimore says four bullets hit several of his internal organs at Tuesday night's youth football practice. A parent is charged in a shooting. A 43-year-old father of one of Lattimore's players, who police said was upset about playing time here in Sherman Park in North St. Louis. Lattimore was able to identify a suspect to police from this very hospital bed. God is good. Uh, I, I couldn't have done this by myself. I want to thank the trauma team here. He also thanked his wife, his five kids, and his players from the city rec league who showed their support to him Thursday in Forest Park. I got your back. Who got my back? I got your back. That flood of energy for Lattimore does not surprise childhood friend Jasmine Towns. I grew up with him. She's also not surprised by his apparent medical progress. Oh, he got it. He's going to get through it. He's going to, he's strong. You know from your past experience with yeah, him? Yeah, he's strong. Will he coach again? Here's what his mother, Samiko, said Thursday. I just had this talk with him a few minutes ago. He's uh, we, he's going to have to definitely take a medical break, uh, but eventually, I think he'll 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 try to go back. This is Lattimore's response Friday. Well, I'm just trying to give back and get my blessings. That's all. Uh, yeah, but I will. I might take a little break, but I, I'll definitely be back coaching. A GoFundMe titled United Together for Coach Shaq broke the $1,500 mark in 24 hours, but it's the love and prayers Lattimore says matter most. The man accused of shooting Lattimore, Daryl Brian Clemens, turned himself in this week and had his first court appearance Friday. He does not yet have a listed attorney. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.